Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the brick stock merge function in Brick Freedom. So if you have Brick Freedom and you wanna learn how to use brick stock merge and part out sets much easier than traditional way on BrickLink, stay tuned. So the first step of course is to make sure that you have a set to part out. In this case, we have two of these classic sets, set 11011. And unfortunately uh, in the past, before there was Brick Freedom and Brick stock merge functions, we would have to part these out kind of all in one sitting, or that's how we would do it at least. It would be uh, easier that way for us. Now, what we can do fortunately with Brickstock, or with Brick Store and the function of Brickstock Merge, we can use just colors to sort it out. So in this case, we have two copies of this, but I'm just gonna use, put that on the ground, I'm just gonna do the uh, dark bluish gray and black pieces. So I'm gonna open these up, pour them out on the table here, and I'm not gonna sort them. I'm just gonna leave them laying on the table. Then I'll show you what we do over here on the computer with Brick Store and Brick Freedom and how we're gonna uh, implement those two together so that these uh, can be parted out in a very efficient manner. Okay, so now I've opened up the two bags. Um, again, this is two copies of the set or two copies of this specific bag. So now we're gonna go over to Brick Store. And inside Brick Store, we are going to create a new document. So that's in the upper left. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this set specifically. So we'll click that little plus We'll make sure the item type is selected to set. And then we'll type in our set number, which is 11011. So you can see, or see here the bricks and animals uh, thing popped up. We're going to click on that. And then in this case, we have, like I said, two quantity of them. So I'm going to click the two. It is a new condition. And I'm going to click add. And then that's all we have to do for now. Now, you just want to double check this real quick. Make sure you do have two quantity. And then you see this little inventory thing down here. If you click on this inventory thing, or double click on the inventory thing, you'll have this menu little window pop up that says, do you want the selected items to be replaced? Um, and essentially by double clicking the inventory, we're gonna part this out right now. And you wanna make sure you replace the set because you don't wanna upload the set uh, while you're trying to part it out. So click yes. Then you can see we have all these pieces here. And if you scroll through, there's tons of stuff. Now, like I said, we're only parting out these bags at the moment. So the nice thing about this, uh, specifically a brick store, we're able to go through and we can sort by color. So if you click the color thing, you can sort and you can see all the colors are sorted. So in this case, like I said, we're only doing black and dark bluish gray. So we're gonna scroll through and delete all the colors that are not black or dark bluish gray. And then if, for example, we wanted to add, I don't know, lime bricks and stuff, different color later, all we have to do is add, again, the set to the, to the sheet um, or to a new sheet, to an empty sheet, and then delete every color we're not adding except you know if we're adding lime or whatever it might be so you can uh, select them all and then you can uh, click delete here or you can click your delete key and then again we're just just doing black and dark bluish gray so i'm going to select all the colors in between black and dark bluish gray and delete those as well and now we are simply left with as you can see black and then at the bottom here dark bluish gray so now is the fun part what we're going to do is we're going to save this file so command s control s whatever it might be you can select where you want to save it. I'm going to save this as 11011 underscore B4. Now you can save this whatever you want. It doesn't actually matter. And then just make sure you know where you saved it. Now, once it's saved, we're going to go over to Brick Freedom. So once you're on Brick Freedom, you're going to click this little uh, hamburger drop down or whatever this is called in the top left. And then you're going to click the Brick Stock Merge tab. And it says like Brick Sync Sort. And when you click that, it'll bring you to this page here. So just say Brick Stock Merge, kind of big in the front. Then you can see there's a little option down here towards the bottom. You're gonna click this choose file option. By clicking that choose file option, it'll pop up your little uh, browser based or your uh, finder or what's it called? I think file explorer on Windows. And you're gonna select the location where you saved that project, that BSX file from Brickstock. This does also work, or sorry, from Brickstore. Again, this does also work with Brickstock. It is the same program essentially, um, but Brickstore is the one being continuously updated. But you're gonna select that file, click choose for upload, and then once it's selected in there, you're gonna actually click the upload button. Now, it's gonna say processing right there and it's processing and going through your current inventory and the inventory that you just uploaded in that file. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna spit back out another BSX file. As you can see, it just says download merged here. When you click that download, I'll click allow, you're gonna download it and then we're gonna have a few things we can do here. So I'll show you this really quickly. For me, it downloads an XML, um, just like this. It's a BSX XML. Now there's a couple ways you can import this into your browser thing or into your brick store. 
In my case, I'm just going to change the extension at the end, delete the XML so it's just a .bsx, and then I can just double click it and it'll open in BrickStore. In my opinion, that's the easiest way to do it. You can also import by clicking File, Import, BrickLink XML, and then selecting that XML file as it downloaded. But I just removed the XML and then used the BrickStore. And now you can see there's not a ton that's changed. It is the same file, it's the same order, the same pieces and stuff. The difference here is one, prices are filled in. So these are prices for items that you currently have in your inventory. And then secondly, you can see our remarks field is filled in for some of the places. Now, why is that really helpful? Well, that's because we can now consolidate before we even upload anything. So what we're gonna do is click this remarks thing, uh, the little tab here. And in this case, you can see there's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lots that we do not yet have in our inventory because it could not find them. So these are gonna be brand new lots. So something else you're gonna to wanna to do here is select all of your items and then a big part, especially for sets that have uh, multiple bags uh, or numbered bags where it's not all in the same thing or tons of extra pieces, you're gonna to wanna to collect or select all of them, right click and then click consolidate items. And then when this pops up, you're gonna click, uh, you can check the merge cost field. In this case, there's technically no price or cost in here, um, but we're gonna go yes to all and that will consolidate all of them together so that we don't have multiples of the same lot in our, uh, in our sheet. So when we upload, it doesn't uh, make it a little bit more confusing. But underneath this, you can see we do have lots that are now sorted by remark. And what this will correlate with, if you look over there, we can then pick those pieces out of here. So what I'll do now is I'll go through this plate two by four, new, eight quantity goes in bin 10. So what I'll go through and do is I'll pick out eight of those two by four plates. Make sure I have those. Um, and then you wanna make sure you find the right quantity. If you don't, you'll have extra pieces at the end and you might be confused. That's not a plate, this is hard with one hand. So two, four, six, two, four, six. Oh, there's seven there. So just one more plate here. There it is, so here's our eight plates. Now what I'll do is I'll go put this in bin 10 over here. All right, so now that that's in bin 10, what I'll do is on the computer, I will click down one and now I'll look for these pieces here. So in this case, it is the slope uh, 30, one by two by two thirds. Again, we're looking for eight of them. So in this case, I'll pull out eight of these. And then once I've eight of those, you'll click and look over at the remarks, which says 316. And the nice thing about this, now that we have a cart, is I will go to the end or the beginning of the aisle. And then I dropped one, but I'll go to 316 over here and I'll put them away. And now they're in our inventory. And I will continue to do that all the way down through the bottom. So until I get to the very bottom here, where I finish at 3464. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then I'll catch up with you at the end of this once we have uh, you know, only the pieces that are left over up here still sitting on our tray. So I'm gonna go through, do that, and then uh, I'll show you at the end what we do with those pieces. And there we go, I put all those pieces away in the drawers that uh, brick store said they go in. So you can see now we have the few lots that are up there that should correlate with what we have down here. Like I said, those are gonna be brand new lots. So. Now is the time where you grab a drawer and we'll start by going at the top here. So you can see the plate round one by one. It says quantity, there should be 18 of those. So we're gonna go back down here. I got four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's 16, 17, and 18. So got those, I'm gonna put them in a drawer. Now, obviously I'll put a divider in here and I'll separate some stuff, but drawer 792. So in this case, now what you're gonna do is go back over to Brick Store and you're gonna type in, and I'm gonna go 0792 because that's the drawer that it's in, I believe. Yep, 792. Um, so you're gonna fill in your remarks field for each piece where you put all the pieces. Now, you can do this with a barcode scanner, you could connect it to the computer, it doesn't really matter. However you wanna type it in is how you're gonna do it. Um, however you sort your inventory and stuff. But essentially, I'm gonna go through now, finish these up real quick, and then I'll show you how we upload this to BrickLink so that we are able to actually have all the pieces in our inventory. Because currently, we're putting them in drawers and we already put some on the wall, but they're not actually on BrickLink yet. So technically, some drawers have the wrong quantity compared to what's on BrickLink because we have to upload this sheet 
So Brinklink knows to add these pieces to our inventory. Okay, so I just typed in all of the remarks for these pieces here. You can see eight different lots there. I said nine at the beginning, but actually we had to consolidate some, which hopefully I got in the video in the right spot. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into here into Brick Store, and we have to do one more thing. And you can see all of these uh, have red highlighted around the price, and that's because the price is set to zero, which obviously is not what you want. So what we're gonna do in this case is select the ones that have zero, or you could select all of them too. You could do Command A or Control A, um, and select all of them and set them to the six month sales average, which is this little button up here that has the little brick link icon. So if you click that, um, you can click, you know, last six month sales average, quantity average, maximum, minimum, any of that kind of stuff. We're going to go with average because that's usually what most people sell at. And if you click OK, you can see it's going to update all of those prices. And now we have no errors in our inventory or in our uh, sheet here, and we're ready to upload. Now, a key thing to remember with this is in this case, I did it with a larger set and I separated it by color. Most likely, if you're going to do a larger set like that, I would do a few bags with a few colors. It's more efficient, in my opinion, than just doing, you know, one bag at a time. But also, it's very, very helpful for small sets. So you don't have to necessarily separate it out by color if you're doing a small set. It's easiest if you just do the entire small set and the whole inventory is here and you just go through your inventory once instead of having to walk, you know, and put things away multiple times. So that is definitely very helpful. But um, now that we're ready to go uh, upload this to BrickLink, we're going to do Control A, Command A. We're going to select everything. That's what you need to make sure you do. Then you're going to click the File button and then Export BrickLink Mass Upload. Now, obviously, we've talked about updating, I think, in the past, but in this case, because these pieces are brand new, we're adding them to the inventory. want to make sure we go BrickLink Mass Upload XML to Clipboard. We're going to click that. Then it's going to open up BrickLink and it'll upload or op open this upload page here. Now, we're going to paste into this first thing here, control V, command V, whatever you have. Um, we're going to paste our XML that it copied to our clipboard. Now, once that's pasted, we're going to click this verify file here. Now, something you want to make sure you don't do here is click concatenate old and new remarks. You want to have that unchecked. And then under this consolidate option, you want to make sure it's consolidate lots by using, and then you can select all the things here. The key is you go with old remarks, um, and that is just in case one of the other remarks was overwritten or something. Shouldn't be a big problem, but usually you want to click old remarks, but make sure you are consolidating, and then you can select, you know, new price and all that kind of stuff, old stock room. You can go change all these settings as you want. Um, but once it's all in here, we're going to click the verify file in the middle of the page, not the one at the bottom of the page. That is if you're updating your inventory in this one. So we're going to click verify file, and then you'll see all your items. And in this case, because we had it sorted in Brick Store by, you know, the top eight or so were the ones that we added that are brand new and the rest were consolidated, it should be the same here, same pattern. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lots that are brand new. They have a new remark and they don't say consolidate. The rest should tell you to consolidate. But since we've already done the consolidation, there's not actually anything for us to do. Scroll past it and you can click now upload file at the bottom here. And you can see it says file successfully processed. So that's pretty much all you have to do for brick, uh, brick stock merge. Um, it's very, very nice using brick store or brick stock along with brick freedom to part out smaller sets or sets you only have a quantity, like small quantity of maybe two or three, or for larger sets like this one that we can separate into colors. So that's actually what we're working on right now with the massive Harry Potter Diagon Alley sets. Paul and I the other day, I'll put a card in the top right, we streamed and we parted out uh, and sorted by color. But essentially, that's uh, that's what we're going to do now over the course of this week is upload by color just as I did here. So hopefully this was very helpful for a lot of people. I know a lot of people were very interested in this and seeing this happen. So if you liked the video, if you have any questions, please go ahead and put it in the comment section be below. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you all in the next video.